welcome to our episode of SRB TV. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're tackling season three, episode eleven of Young Justice Outsiders: Another Freak. So previously on episode ten, yes, that's when we uh, we Cyborg. got Batman. We had Batman, Metamorpho, and Katana pretty much going over to the island, pretty much uh, where he thought or we think Terra's at. So they were pretty much. Uh, scouting it out, and then that's when they got yep. into a big, a big battle. And one over Bupkis. Yeah, we ran out. Yeah, ran out. We ran with pretty much. Yeah, Bupkis, nothing. At the same time, we got to see. We got to see. So we're so, slowly starting to see the early beginnings of pretty much Victor Stone's cyborg. Pretty much, just his his father. His back, it, Eli, Elias Stone. Mm -hmm. Um. Now, yeah, and his pretty much his origin story because. I feel like the sec I, in my opinion, the second half is going to the second half of the season is going to deal with that aspect. Yeah, and him with the mother box. Two funniest parts is his best friend, voiced by the same voice actor who voices voiced Cyborg in Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go. And um, the the nerdy kid they were they were messing with in the locker room is Cisco, Cisco Ramon, Ramon, aka the kid that becomes Vibe. Yeah, from the Flash. And um, other comic book stuff. Yeah, a bunch of other comic book stuff. Um. Thank you for the comments who were letting us know pretty much as well. I forgot to mention um, uh, of who that principal is pretty much. The new principal of the school. And it's, it's his name is Snapper Carr. He used to be a teacher for some of the member, young members pretty much. Thank and you. And he does have a... Now, here, I don't know if they're going to uh, continue that. But in the comics, and uh, he does have abilities. He kind of has like Nightcrawler's abilities Wasn't where he, it, could, he could teleport anywhere. Was the last episode also the Lobo episode or I'm thinking the episode before? That's the episode before. Okay. Uh, what about the Ocean Master stuff? Was that the last episode? Episode before. Okay. That's why he said, as I was going over, last episode, that's all it dealt with. was okay. With, with uh, Victor Stone and then ba Batman, Metamorpho, and Katana. That's yeah. what we dealt with pretty much. Them getting bupkis, but also knowing that a little bit more about what's going on, that Terra's not there, mm -hmm. things like that. Okay. Um, and pretty much, uh, like I said, it's just new, uh, new information pretty much that they, that they just added to the list. Um, let me see something here, just double checking. Oh, and of course, Granny Goodness. Remember the last episode pretty much, realizing it's like now she lives on Earth pretty much, and everybody does know that she was Granny Goodness, but now she started up her own like studio and stuff like that. GW and she started freaking the goggles pretty much. Yeah. Um, and now we do realize and then we do realize that she is still part of kind of the light in a way, the new version of the light. So let's tackle this. Let's see what's going on in this episode. Again, this is for Young Justice Outsiders season three, episode eleven, Another Freak. Doesn't sound too good. So here we go. There are things happening in this world that are bigger than you and I. And in any case, I will not talk to you while you are behaving in this way. You're not being a father. <laughs> oh, and there we go. So it begins. Cyborg born. Because nobody can move a wire from the goddamn door. I know, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You think they had that area clear to where no, the door doesn't hit anything. No. I would go to like Ford A. Gerald. Ford A. Gerald. Ford, Ford A. Gerald. There's a name Ford. No flying at school! No flying at school! Meanwhile, half of Victor Stone's missing. At least half of them. Or a third? I don't know my fractions. Oh my god! I keep forgetting how dark this show's been okay. We forget about the countless Halo deaths. Make it to hospital. <laughs> Silas, please. God, what is that? It's called the Father Box. The Justice League told Father Box. Okay, okay, it's the Father Box. I was wondering why you were calling a Mother Box. I was like, wait, what? Because there's two, there are two of them. And the world's pre It's a Father Box and a Mother Box. And Dude, that was fucking cruel. Oh, man, I can't barely look. <laughs> That's fucking gruesome, man. Red bug with two G's was amongst a swarm of this size. Red bug with two G's will do whatever is necessary to ensure that. Oh my God, Forager! You're gonna be the nerd. That's not familiar. You can be our best friend. Oh, I'm gonna like you too. I'm gonna like you too. Things drain a lot of 
juice. It'll be worth it. Okay, I think I managed to attach EKG and EEG monitors. Are you getting anything? I don't know if it's his left rib or right rib. There's a lot of bones. <laughs> I mean, he's a tough cookie. Half of him is missing, and he's still enough strength to go to look at his father go. and cry. Art man. Art machine. All oh, hero. That's gonna be a tagline for the side work, maybe. They've used that line so many times in so many different other movies and shows. <laughs> Roast me alive for suggesting you exercise patience. Patience. I love that. Patience. What is the magic of patience? You preach patience. My brother preaches patience. Once upon a time, my parents sing the same. Patience. Patience. You have a decision. You a man perpetually looking back at what he's lost, mm -hmm. or a man looking forward for what he might become. It's true. God damn it! No wonder Babbing assures you his true son sometimes. <laughs> hey, are you all right? <sighs> Zoo! <laughs> Zoo! Motherfucker! <laughs> Only. <laughs> I was one, I was curious about what happens if you try to use two hands. Yeah, no, here's. Justice to the game, you get to see it. Well, what's it called? I don't know what it's called, but he does have like an alternate. Can create portals? She just opened up her own boom tube. Um, go, friend. Where does Violet Harper go? Wait, 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 where is she going? Magic? What are you doing? Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. I think I cleansed you. Yes. It's a good thing. Wait, can I go with you? I suppose so. Okay. There we go. We caught a wild. <laughs> He'll caught a wild cyborg. <laughs> but you are not. I need to leave before I do something that'll be both. That's the father box talking, not you, son. You and I okay? And are you okay? I wasn't, but moving forward, I think I will be. There you go. Focus on the future. <laughs> oh! It's, it's almost pinky. pinky still sitting there dilapidating. He's just like slowly yeah. just sitting there. Aww. Yeah, look at We just went. Oh. He tilted her head going. So now. With season three, episode 11 in the books, we have the introduction to the beginnings of Cyborg. Well, Young Justice's form of, of cyborg, cyborg, pretty much. And, you know, just him now starting to get accustomed of what he is. Um, yeah, I'm glad it was her who bring who brought them, uh, you know, brought him to them. She yeah. says some weird mumbo jumbo to get him out of the him uh, get get him out of that state, pretty much. Which, yeah. um, again, they uh, was it um, uh, was it because the evil version of Cyborg is known as Grid, and I remember I I only know about this only because of the Injustice Two video game, um, because he does exist in the comics. But um, yeah, this was I like this. Uh, 
Even though I will choose a different name for Forager, but I still think it's a fine name. Yeah. And this was a fun. We even got introduced to somebody who become another member of the Bat Family. Um, who's actually currently, right now in the comics, um, Harper Rose, the newest character that he's introducing Young Justice, who in the comics currently is the newest member of the family, pretty much. Her, she's still, she's still a crime fighter, you know, with the, you know, basic fighting skills and stuff like that, but her, her speciality and skills is dealing with electronics. Yeah. That's what she deals with. So it was, yeah, the main focus was, there was two main, well, three, a bit, like two and a half, uh, focusing on Fred and Violet getting used to the new school. Going to the new school. Us, um, Victor and Silas dealing with their, Elias dealing with their shit. And then the main one, another one pretty much, which is, um, finally realizing what, what, uh, why he's, uh. Because he's so worried about the past that he's not really looking forward towards the, the future. future. And that's what he keeps looking at. He keeps worrying about his sister, but he's secret, it's secretly it's because he's just worried about his future. That's what it is. And luckily Nightwing, pretty much, uh, Dick Grayson, he finally was able to actually understand pretty much and, and comprehend yeah, with him. He's able to see the truth behind it. But I easily, little, yeah, easily the most powerful moment was what, he, what like Victor tells his father. Yeah, exactly. You know, where it's just like, it's, you know, it's, it's it's a type of thing where it's like he always had that relationship with his father no matter what. Yeah. Even before the whole cyborg thing. I mean, eventually he did get over it with his father at some point. You know, even though he, st he is still to, to blame. Because he's not, he wasn't connecting with his son and things like that and encouraging him. You know, sports, it's like he was always focused. He was always his head And let's not door. forget, never put a dangerous wire near a door. Oh my God, it's another thing. If I had one downside, it's the Stupidest reason. To me, it's stuff. like, it's ridiculous. You're in a very sophisticated lab, labor, laboratory, pretty much. And it's like, you need to make sure everything's in safe contact away, away from anything that's dangerous. And one of them is a cord by the door that keeps getting hit. You think somebody would notice, what do we keep hitting here? That, you know, it's like, you think that somebody would move it out of the way or something, you know? Or at least put tape around it saying, keep this area clear, or this doorway clear, or something. Yeah. That's the only downside to this episode, but besides that, it was a solid, another good episode. Um, you know, I, I really like, it's like how we're still learning more and more about Halo's abilities. You know, it looks like she, it looks like she's able now to boom to wherever she wants. Yeah, a new ability, indigo color ability. Yeah, indigo color uh, ability where it's like now she can go wherever she wants, but also at the same time. And there's, of course, the weird language she was speaking when removing grid out of his Ah, uh, yeah, it looked like she was removing something out of her, you know, removing something. Out of his, uh, the system, pretty much. Uh, so it's system. still between a magical essence and more of an alien presence. We still don't exactly know. No, it's like every every episode or every other episode, we get a new ability from her in a way. Um, yeah. I was waiting. I was waiting for that other, you know, was like, how is she gonna die this time? Type of moment. But like, no, that happen. came with Victor and that gruesome looking. Oh scene. my goodness. It's like, I keep forgetting, it's like, this show's gotten darker, so I have to keep reminding you know, myself. It's, it's got, gone up our rating in TV terms, in TV rating terms. Oh, gone yeah, it has. it has. But this was a good episode. They didn't, they didn't focus at all with the light at all. Um, no, it was more of just, it was more of the younger group, pretty much, of uh, them trying to get used to, uh, you know, trying to live that, two, you know, double life, you know. Yeah. One is going to school, and the other just the hero, you know, and this that's, that's what they were dealing with here, just dealing with that, and then... You know, some of them dealing with pretty much just what's really been bothering this this whole time. So that's yeah. what this episode really dealt with, and I really, I really liked it pretty much. And like they say, you know, now you see with the title of the you know another freak. It's just that it's like they're all freaks in some way. Yes, and like I said, this is a good episode overall. Like I said, easy one of the best scenes of the season so far is what Victor says tells his father. Oh I'm yeah, become cyborg. So. Other than that, if you're new to the channel, you hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about a DC Universe original series, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this episode. Do you think it was a good episode overall of how they did uh, Cyborg's uh, trans... Well, pretty much Victor Stone's transition into Cyborg. We know it's not full Cyborg that we want, but it's just the transition of... Him, you know, of his beginnings. You know, what did you think of how that went? Yeah. Um, do you think it's the last we'll see of uh, that darker side of him, pretty much? You know, do we think we're getting, that's going to come up at some point again? Um, just let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this episode overall. Um, just the way everything goes, especially with Halo's abilities. Just let us know. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall as well to this episode. 
But most importantly, we thank you for watching. And of course, on the next episode of SRB TV dealing with Young Justice Outsiders, we will be tackling Season 3, Episode 12, Nightmare Monkeys. Sounds very weird already. Yes, it does. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very Fred Bug with 2Gs filled episode of SRB TV. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.